Hey there, Leos. This is going to be your monthly tarot reading for February 2017. As you can see, I've already pre-shuffled the cards um, just to not take away too much time of the reading. Also, if you are of the moon and rising, you may also resonate with this reading. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So Leo, where you're at this month, you have the Five of Cups. So you're not taking something well. You've had to step away from something you were emotionally invested in or attached to. Um, it's a little bit difficult for you. It's like you're in a depressive mode. You're in a hermit mode trying to figure things out, trying to figure out how you feel, where you stand, how I got here. Why did this happen? So there's an energy of a disappointment. Um, with your challenge and your lesson, you have the page of pentacles so with the page of pentacles you're challenged by the fact that you got to look at yourself look at your value look at what you deserve look at what you really want the opportunities that still lie in front of you instead of looking behind you if someone has left your life or you were forced to walk away from something or someone look towards the future and look at the the opportunities that lie in front of you um, it might take some time for you. These are practical things. These are tangible things. This could be looking at your value, things that you like about yourself, something else that you hold at value that's still in your life. People, things, something that's still valuable to you, something that still brings you joy or happiness to focus on that. It's, it's going to be hard for you to do this because I can already see the past energy that you're coming from. Um, where your focus needs to be, which is going to be of your highest good this month, is the Eight of Wands. So with the Eight of Wands, I'm getting as of your focus is focus on how fast things are changing for you. Like you're missing out on the, the progress in this process. It's like you're looking only at the negatives and looking at the past rather than ahead because it's like there's so much happening so much that you could be focusing on or doing that you could actually get out of this energy easily just by swift, um, shifting your focus. You could easily shift out of this heartache and pain that you have being down on yourself. You have every right to be upset, sad, confused, but to dwell there for too long is, is not good. It's not healthy. So, I'm getting the past energy that you're coming from is the five of pentacles here, um, which obviously hit you emotionally with the five of cups. So something has happened where you felt like something was taken from you, where you feel misfortunate, that something has been mishandled or you've been mishandled, taken for granted, taken advantage of, um, like your efforts didn't mean anything, your worth wasn't valuable, your presence wasn't enough or valued. Something um, something left you feeling out, out of sorts. Like just like, what did I do wrong? What happened? How did this even occur? So it's like you're heavily confused right now, I feel. So that's the past energy that you're that you uh, that's influencing where you are now in the five of cups. Your biggest strength is going to be the temperance card. So your biggest strength is going to be to find balance emotionally. Being able to look at the past and look at where you are now and find some type of peace within that. Use it as a contrast for what it is that you don't want or you do want in the future. So whatever good you experience in that situation, whatever it is for you, take that with you. Any negatives or any heartache that you suffered from, leave that in the past and focus on the good that you want in your future. That's the only way you're going to find balance. If you dwell too much in the negatives, you're just going to continue to bring that with you. If you focus on the positives and the optimism, then it's going to help you raise your vibration because the energy is moving very fast. It's trying to take you somewhere. But it's like stagnation by looking in the past dwelling in the hurt and the pain and the loss for too long it's meant to pass it's meant to to move but it's like you rather stay stuck there your biggest strength is going to be able to find that balance emotionally with the situation for the energy you're moving into you have the ten of swords 
So you're moving into the energy of you are going to let go of the mental aspect, how you perceive it, how you perceive yourself within it. Um, it's going to start in the mind. Like, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. I'm not going to think about that anymore. I'm not going to hang myself up because it's like you beat yourself up enough. You've dwelled in the negativity for far too long. And it's like, it's time for you to let it all go because it's like, you've already beat yourself up to the point where how more, how much more damage can I do here to myself? So it's like you pick yourself up out of this. You're moving out of this energy and you're finally deading these negative perceptions, beliefs, negative self-talks. If you're cursing someone else or speaking ill will towards someone that has hurt you or others that have hurt you, it's like you're going to look towards something much more better. Um, your suggested approach or action is the Ten of Wands. So fight this energy to the end. Don't allow it to defeat you. You're almost towards the end. It's like you're you're close to the ending in the beginning. With ending the negative thoughts, you're going to receive a new perspective or belief or how you see yourself in the situation. Here, with your action and approach, do it till the end because you're almost there and there's a new beginning on the horizon. It's like you're, you're so close. Like I said, energy is moving very fast, very rapidly. So it's like fight this energy, go through it, move through it. Don't hold yourself back don't try to resist it just go with it no matter how difficult it is because you're almost at the end of this process then when you look at your shadow energy the energy you're not aware of you have the nine of pentacles so you're actually not aware of that there is some type of joy here there's some sort of contentment stability within yourself and where you are looking at the good things in life appreciating good things that are already there the people that are already there for you supportive of you that love you something of value that you just can't see right now but you're getting there it's like you will see all of that pretty soon it's going to conclude itself nicely i'm getting your biggest hope and your biggest fear your fear is that you'll never be happy again emotionally like i'll never feel joy ever again like, I, I can't see past this Five of Cups energy. But Spirit is saying that it's here with the Nine of Pentacles. You can't see it for you to experience it. It's just that you don't feel like you deserve it or that it's ever going to come based upon what you've experienced. Your biggest hope is that you will be fulfilled emotionally, that something is going to come true for you, that you'll be able to indulge in this joy to feel content, blessed, okay? The possible outcome for you is the Four of Cups. So whatever it is that you're dealing with emotionally, Spirit is wanting you to look at it from a different perspective and take what Spirit is giving you because it's ultimately healing you. It's for your highest good to look at these things, but use it as a contrast and to find balance emotionally. Take what it you don't want from the future and leave it take what you do want from the past and bring it with you and create from a space of what you do want what makes you happy what you desire to have there you'll find balance and wisdom if you can look at these things for what they are and not as so much truth that this didn't work out because i was undeserving or you know i'm not good enough or because of something i done in the past Okay. All right. So that is your reading, Leos. I hope that this resonates with you and brings you clarity on will be helpful for you. Um, if you would like your own personal reading, you can go to my website at waluchildreadings.com. And as always, you guys, I send you lots of love, lots of light. Peace.